Okay, so you know, Hurricane Michael is um, pretty much just gonna be a huge one of the most devastating storms in the Panhandle, Florida, the Panhandle counties. A lot of schools and universities in the surrounding area were closed, and um, you know, it's supposed to project at least a thousand. Uh, 1,250 troops is going to be like the National Guard is going to be on standby and 4,000 troops is going to be there around the evacuation area. Uh, Governor Rick Scott is advising other individuals to get out of there because if they stay in their, their residing area, they pretty much are going to perish. Now, so this is a state of emergency. Um, Hurricane Michael, as they said, it's going to at least be 3.7 above um, normal average sea water, man. Sea water level, winds of 110 miles per hour. This is going to be very devastating. It said it's going to be pretty much a, a little bit more dangerous than Hurricane Florence that happened in South Carolina. But the so the horrendous part is that, you know, it's going to project to go to the East Coast. And, you know, shouts out to Demcad. Demcad, those you don't know, uh, he's African-American from Flint. I like him a lot. Um, he really goes into detail when stuff hits the fan. And he talks about his journey with him moving from Flint before the Flint water crisis. And, um, you know, he got a new job in Kentucky and he moved to Alaska. So he was traveling all over the United States. And he always educate individuals about... Uh, a bug out bag and a bug out bag is uh, pretty much a bag that you use you know to travel when things um, it's like this happen like natural disasters you have like canned foods you will have um, um, toothpaste you will have um, toothbrush you will have that on you all in one bag um, of course you will have water you have your own filter you will have ammunition learn how to shoot and he actually he teaches individuals on how to reload and how to unload and all that stuff man what to look out for how to defend himself with martial arts and always the importance of getting fit while you in your time right now it's that time to go to the gym invest in yourself so man shouts out to him man he was just stating that like listen you know we live pretty much we live in the the largest and i won't say the largest but one of the most wealthiest nations in the world and you know of course 63 percent of a lot of americans only have a thousand dollars uh for emergency funds man and you know a lot of americans are living paycheck to paycheck 73 these percent of americans um dislike their jobs man in their field that they're in despite how much education they have and um it really doesn't really go into detail not too many americans are really prepared man to when stuff hits the fan like you know you you get you know, like a natural disaster or apocalypse or stuff happens man like a blackout um people don't know where they, their next move is or their next meal or they have a family they don't know the importance of not going onto the freeway to go to a destination because you might be stuck there potentially you know uh, everybody's going to one direction especially if you live like in atlanta area somewhere was a lot of entertainment they only got like two major highways man everybody coming from the 75 south man all the way down from michigan so i mean you gotta be mindful of that you gotta you know take streets um avoid uh, always have gas in your car uh always have like a gas container just in case you may have to use your car uh, that's a, a good reliable transportation um it really talks about man just you know you got um so you want to stay away from supermarkets i mean especially in uh, hurricane florence right now oh before that um the hurricane michael before it hits on uh, tomorrow and wednesday a lot of individuals are emptying out grocery stores looting already getting water and supplies and you know i understand you had to do what you have to do and you know you work you, you work your day-to-day -day job living paycheck to paycheck mainly or you you don't live to paycheck paycheck but you don't you know you're kind of taking it for granted that okay every day is given you know i mean this stuff happens i mean you always got to have canned foods you got to have water with you you got to have these simple things um and things to protect yourself because you just never know what things are going to happen especially you live in a tropical area and, and it's just kind of sad that you know uh, uh, we live in a nation you know uh, like governors and uh, other local officials they don't have to worry about that too much i mean the governor don't have to worry about that he got shacks he got bunkers i mean he got people take uh protecting them and taking care of them if you as a united states citizen man you're not part of that elite class then yes man this all these principles applies to you and this goes to show you that you know of course with the hurricane harvey that happened uh you know the florence i mean you know going to the supermarket and at the last minute i mean that's that's a huge disaster man you can you can potentially get arrested i mean it's a riot you can put your life on the line and you know just prepare now go to sam's club have your bottles of water i mean i'm start. you know i kind of you know stocking up on that as well man you know go to the food banks i mean just kind of stack on food and water and canned foods the importance of canned foods they actually can last for a long period of time 
and you know i just don't want to hear especially like of course you know we got white people do this all the time but african americans uh they always label them as animals and crazy people but you know i just feel like you know in the mind state you know we also bombarded with entertainment and doesn't really prepare us and of course you know our day-to-day -day moves and paying bills it, we don't really naturally prepare ourselves uh, for the last minute things or crisis a national crisis man so uh, i think this is a little american thing um we kind of a little spoiled compared to other countries um i was just talking to uh, my co-worker like you know you got individuals like in people in cambodia i know this kind of a little irrelevant a little bit but people in cambodia are living a little bit longer than us even though that's maybe a second world third world country if you want to debate about that um you know because they always outside doing something laborly they always you know majority of their people live about 80 90 100 years old and they don't have too many health problems because they're always doing something um, that makes them get out a little breath. Shout out to Dr. Oz. That's what he said. And he was just stating that, you know, you have to do something manually, you know, always, you know, be kind of a little fit in a way. Um, so, I mean, you know, we, we kind of take little things for granted, though, man. Um, I just pray that, you know, this don't be too disastrous, man. You don't have too many casualties. I said, I think uh, in 2005, they said this is uh, one, it's probably going to be the most deadliest um, hurricanes ever man so um we're turning the last decade so um to the panhandle counties man um my prayers are up uh, people just um kind of learn from this man but you know always prepare you just never know when it's your last last time here on this earth you don't know when it's going to happen a national emergency uh we just had a presidential alert so i know you know people i don't know they're gonna start setting up like the little fema camps and all that stuff man putting evacuating individuals there so you got to kind of just be careful man just always be prepared and um, I'm working on this too. And, you know, just kind of separate this and uh, entertainment, man, and reality. So, um, you know, it, it's always good. It's always good to actually know, you know, where you want to go, uh, your family members, um, if where they live, you know, their distance. Do you have any reliable transportation? Do you have a bicycle? Are you coming, you coming from work? How are you going to uh, get back home? Um, you can use a car or you're going to bring out a bug out bag. So it's just little things that's extremely important, though. But I kind of learned a lot of this knowledge from Demcat, man. He was just talking about this since 2008, man. So very intelligent brother. Shouts out to him, man. But, you know, my prayers is here for, you know, Hurricane Michael. and people still in the South Carolina's recovery from the Hurricane Florence. But that's all I had to say on this. I want to, you know, just, you know, report the news on this, man. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a huge uh, emergency evacuation, though. But... That's all I have to say. You guys take care. I'm out.